がぜひ自分で体感してあーもう見えてますなんか見えてるこれですねそうですねこれがフリーカーうじゃうじゃいますよ確かここで How many f r e a k e r s are here? I think this is a smaller horde so this is 250 300 300一応300体300人のフリーカーがここにいます300いるとで一応目的はその全てを倒すことなのですが、あのー、上の画面でゲージ赤いゲージがありますねはいはい中央上のゲージですね、はい、それが、えーとまあ、残りの、えー、と人数ですがおお、はい、爆発倒すことでどんどんゲージが減っていきますただ音も立てて騒ぎを起こしたことでどんどんどんどんわーっ怖っ<笑><笑>うわわわわすごいっすねはいでまあ、この子にもいろいろと捨てられた車もありますしあとはバイク、今回はここではストーリーモードでなかったバイクにも乗ることができます、はい、であともう一つが、あのー、もう中盤なのでいろいろと罠を仕掛けることもできるし、えー、と装備しているものも割と充実していますのでそういうところもちゃんと利用していただきたいと思いますねこれが先ほど紹介していただいた重要な、はいまあ、ある意味キーともなるバイクですね。はいバイクですなんかバイク乗るのもなんか気持ちよさそうですね気持ちいいですねドリフトとかもできますよやっぱこうね舞台が大自然なのでいいですねそうですね移動の手段としては絶対に必要な乗り物になりますでこのようにまあバイクをどこの位置に、えー、と置いとくかによっても、えー、と最終的には自分がここに逃げてバイクでさらに逃げられることがというのも作戦の中に入れるのは重要ですバイクの止める場所も重要とおっと何かを何をしているところでしょうかここは、はい、罠を設置して、まあ後でちょっと使うんでしょうねそれをまあ何か設置したと罠を、うん、あとバイクが重要なのも一回死んだらそこが、えー、とチェックポイントとなってそこでまた復活することになりますうんうんうんなるほどお次はどこに設置するんですかここはなんか意図があるんですかね、今置いた場所というのは。そうですね、今、えー、と設置しているポイントを決めて、えー、とそこに誘導しながら、まあ、逃げ自分も逃げて爆発物を、えー、発火するという作戦ですね、あとこういう燃料タンクも置いてあります、うん、それは実際に銃で撃って大きな爆発を起こすこともできるし、今、罠をそこに設置したので、はいはい、そこの近くに行くと,、えーとまあ、フリーカーたちが爆発する。爆発するとやっぱ設置した場所しっかりと頭に入れとかないとそうですね,ですねちゃんとせ作戦通りに行かないということですね、はい、それでどうのルートを通っていくかを、うんはい、頭に入れながらさおお来た来たうわー来た<笑>うわ大丈夫かな大丈夫ですかジェクさんうわジェクさん大丈夫ですかうわー来てる来てるすごい数あと今あのちょっとスクリーン画面がえーとちょっとグレーになったと思うんですけどそれはフォーカスモールでその間だけえーとスローモーションでえーとものが起こるようになりますそれは中盤になってから半分いますねもうあ結構半分ぐらい半分六十パーセントぐらい残り六十ぐらいあ先ほど仕掛けたものなるほどマルタのところ。一つ武器としてもナパーム火炎瓶というのを作っているのですがあーなここで爆発させて,爆発させて結構いいところまでわーあーでもいいですね素晴らしいジェクさんジェクさん素晴らしいです障害物とかを、えー、と抜けることで、まあ、彼らの動きを遅く、まあ、遊べることもできますどういう状況なんでしょうかどちらにしろやっぱりもうずっと逃げ回って動き回ってないとダメですねすぐ捕まっちゃうのでああいいですいいですもう迫ってきてる大丈夫ですかなんとかなんとか<笑>浦野さんこれいけそうですかねいけるんじゃないですかあとあどこが変更するときはスローモーションなどそれもいいように使ってえー、あっゲクさんゲクさんゲクさん逃げてゲクさん大丈夫ああ今のは、うん、ちょっと倍ですけどヒヤッとしましたね今のさ<笑>さあ,あとこういう、まあ、赤いものが爆発すると考えてるそれを狙ったりすると思いますので
Like, oh, it's not enough. さあ、冷静なジェフさん。大丈夫でしょうか。ライブでお届けしております。あと、体力ゲージの上が、まあ、青く、青いゲージなんですよ。それがスタミナですね。それで、えっ、ー、と、まあ、走ることがね、そのゲージがなくなったら、もう走ることもできる。結構、今、ギリギリなところですが。あーっと。さあ、お客さんもドキドキしてまいりました。ジェフさん、頼む。ライブショーしっかりと成功してほしいですただもうあとわずかですねそうですねあともうあとは10で倒せるぐらいだとまでいってるでしょうかうわっ<笑><笑>油断できないですねそうですねもうあでももうちょいああと2回ぐらいよしすりゃすりゃ最後はボッコボコにしてあらいへいがわちんすんライブゲームプレイヒーデイズゴンあいっぱいコントローラーあんまりのバナキュラーズにしてトラブル I see yeah, trouble. lots of trouble. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're looking at about 250 individual horde units right here. This oh, is wow. smaller than the horde we showed at the sawmill a few years ago, but I feel it's a good starter horde for you. And it's really important now. Prepare. So, All right. You just took a bunch of ammo from your saddlebags. So, oh, saddlebags. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and this, that's an important upgrade for the bike to prepare you for encounters such as this. All when right. You, when you don't try to kill them with the bike. But, Since it's a sandbox, I say you go for it. <laughs> All right. Oh, up to it a bad start. <laughs> oh, oh, really bad start. Nice job. I'm, this is yeah. the world's best demo I could have done that, dude. Thanks, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is not going uh, <laughs> to uh, Oh, man. This is not going to go well. We're going for realism. Okay, so I need a <laughs> separate inversion for on foot and vehicle, I noticed. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So let's do that. <laughs> We're playing so, it live here. Is that a separate uh, feature? Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah, so press R2 to go to the bike. Ah, display. Oh, sorry. There we go. There All you right, go. there we there go. go. Now we're good. Now everything's going to go it, flawless. It was the yeah. old inverted controls. That's right. Good. I'm a freak. <laughs> That's right. It is the right way to play. <laughs> Here we go. Easy now. Oh, mama. This is a more powerful bike than what I drove in the last build. Yes, this is an upgraded bike. Yeah. This looks gorgeous. So the uh, horde is back behind you, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. This game looks incredible. No strategy in this game is a bad strategy, but I'm going to say this is a terrible strategy. <laughs> the worst strategy. Yeah. So tell me, what, what, do I, uh, what do I have in terms of weaponry here? Okay, well, so you, if you get off your bike, you can access your survival wheel. And um, on this, you're going to have your, your, you know, your weapons on the, in the cardinal directions, but then in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to have throwable explosives. In the upper left, you're going to have your consumables, which include things like your health, your bandages, uh, but most importantly, kind of survival buffs. Things that will help enhance uh. your, your core attributes. And, you know, crafting one is going to take away from another, of course, so you've got to make choices that suit your playstyle. Um, and then also we have distractions on the bottom left corner. Not really the best for the horde, but on the bottom right we have traps. So in this case, I think you might have uh, proximity bombs or, or airbag remote detonators. I think, they're, I think in this case you have some the prox, uh, proximity mines. And if you plan properly and look through the environment, you find like key places that you say, I'm gonna, I want to run the horde through here later and trigger this detonation when enough of them run past it. So you can, smart players will do that. Foolish players will just charge in, guns a-blazing, and it's going to be a lot harder for those guys. What, what kind Most of player will players will be? will try to jam their bike into the horde. <laughs> they can try that. <laughs> so what's your strategy here, Sid? What, what are you thinking? How do I, how do I Stalling is a strategy. You got it selected like. right there, and then <laughs> uh, hit R2 to... R2, okay. Oh, oh, no. oh <laughs> You can't melee the horde. <laughs> you can try. The strategy is panic oh. and run. <laughs> okay, we're on the move now. Lost my bike. Not good. You can still save it. 
I, I don't recommend a melee bat against these guys, but <laughs> let's give it a go. Got to stay nimble here. This is going to be uh, 10 minutes of me running from these guys, isn't it? <laughs> well, Sid's trying to make his way around. How do you guys They're plan for all they'll, of these different tactics that people are going to dive into? How do you think ahead of time of people are going to want to go about this a million different ways? So what's the process oh, of building man. out all of that? Well, we think about what makes kind of sense and what sounds cool that fits the IP, but we, we do have to provide a lot of different tools just so they can have that, right. that you know, the, the, that flexibility. And then we just try to keep things very loose. So that we're going to be surprised by a lot of the videos we see yeah. online of people playing this. We'll be like, wow, I didn't think that would happen. And when we've done that internally, we've been surprised about how things just kind of work. So, yeah. so we're supporting it by it's just... always the best part of games like this is just seeing how people get so creative. Yeah, absolutely. We had, a, we had a company meeting last week where our head of QA literally took on the horde using his crossbow and custom crafted explosive oh bolts. Oh my gosh. And it was pretty amazing. So he pretty much got all the way there. I think he had to use one Molotov, but... Jeff and I had never seen that happen before, so we were yeah. surprised, and we were like, oh. And what's cool about it, and I think this goes to your question, is um, we, it makes perfect sense that it worked because the way we built the systems, right. but it's, it, Emergence is about a bunch of wholly oh. predictable, unpredictable <laughs> things, and it just works, like we're catching yourself catching on yourself fire. Catching yourself on fire is possibly a good <laughs> yeah. strategy. I, I, That's so he can set them on fire when they grab him. That's, yeah, yeah, that was the plan. Okay. This is so one of the things we're going to point out, though, is that the, the Horde locations are all story-driven. Uh -huh. And so this is a mass grave site. So Nero would have come in as the world was ending, dug these mass graves. And they happened to have giant barrels of fuel that they would have used to burn the corpses of all the people who had died during the pandemic. So there's a yeah. reason why you find all these explodables out in these areas. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> there you go. one of the key strategies is to go and find those first and then plan as you're running around to try to drag oh, the Horde out of them. There you go. And in these encounters, oh, you really got to be thinking on your feet as you're running forward. Pour me to pieces. Uh, I'm, dying. I'm doing better, though. I'm getting the hang of this yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Now I got it all figured out. But you want to scan the environment constantly, looking for new opportunities. Yeah. And it, a lot of them reveal themselves. But you've, you've got to be nimble. You've got to be moving. You've got to be thinking and using the survival will and just using every mechanical aspect it wants to survive. And these are late game encounters. Okay. So you run into the horde throughout the game. Early on, you can't take them on. You're not strong enough. You're not fast enough. You, you don't have large enough magazines in your weapons. So you really learn you early on. You have to work on, your way up. Yeah, the, uh, how you're going to put them. By the time the, you get to this mission, you would, have, you would have learned some of the strategies. There we go. There we go. Um, and, and you'll notice those logs right there. Mm -hmm. If you blow those open, they'll actually... One of the things uh, I think is great about this, okay. too, is that Release you also you have the cultists that, so uh, that are out there. So actually, go to your lower right-hand corner, like 4 o'clock on your survival wheel. have to be worried about. And so this so could bring up the survival be a situation one. that you would maybe then go to the, use them to your you know, advantage kind of four if there were other enemies around. Place, place that thing on the barrel. Yeah, absolutely. So so I think, yeah, you have one in, equipped, so hold L2. This is one of the late-game missions. There are open-world And then when you trigger them, make sure they run past here. You have an ambush camp you have to go take on. If you see a horde nearby, you can be a Pied Piper. You can actually take get on your bike, ride through the horde, drag them up into the ambush camp, All right, and then watch gone. the mayhem that ensues. Oh my gosh. All right, here they come, Sid. Oh. Nice one. Nice. We got about a quarter of them. Front row. Front row. Oh, you're gonna have to reload pretty soon, dude. Get, oh, run. Uh, get out! Oh. <laughs> it worked for a while. It did. It, I mean, we're making progress. Yes. We're chipping away here. <laughs> This is this is unlike anything I've ever played. I've never fought so many enemies at once. I mean, it's uh, it's really really interesting. Let's see here. I was digging these Molotovs. So one of the other things we wanted to point out is that we've been working really hard on performance. So if you saw the demo that we we released some footage last month, it was kind of alpha footage, and you know this kind of polish really comes very say, very late in the game. So, so the, this is like almost final lighting for the environment. The, Environment tech guys have been working really hard on that, but also performance is key for this game because it's running at a solid 30 here, and we have a version on the regular PS4 that's also running at a solid 30. So we're pretty go. happy with where we're at. All right. All right, it's on. Oh. 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 <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's there it nicely is. Nicely done. <laughs> They're starting to fan out. Whoa. Yeah, as you can see, they're starting to avoid the fire as well, so. 
Anything that's red is explodable as well. Keep moving, Sid. Short controlled bursts. Boom. Yeah, always oh, side to run. Side side run. Red eye. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. And, and, uh, and that's also. how we show it's alive. Yeah. <laughs> Sid, this was it. I blame him. I did too good. Yeah. That was the problem. <laughs> All right, so you can see we still have some optimization. Yeah. We're not coming yeah, yeah, yeah. out February, so. We still have some work to go. <laughs> you guys are coming out February 22nd, though. I'm sure you can polish that right up. It's a live time. environment, though. I mean, that's, these things happen early in development. But, uh, yeah, that was super cool. I have never played anything like that. It was really, really unique. And, I mean, we're just obviously kind of goofing around here, you know, playing with uh, the, the huge, huge, huge hordes. But, um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do in this game, and there's a lot of uh, emergent systems that come about, and you saw some of it here. I mean, every single time I tried that on, it was a completely different experience. Yes, exactly. And I know that's something that you guys are really focused on. I mean, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, the, uh, the Criers, the, uh, the Freaker Ravens that, that, that may choose to attack at one point or another. I mean, talk a little bit about how those systems sort of, uh, you know, combine.